MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So Martin, for our viewers who may have seen WFL as a, a very large machine tool manufacturer, yep. you also do smaller machines as well. That's right, yeah. The range starts at M35, it's a 350 mil swing diameter machine, so sort of 8, 10, 12 inch chuck machine. Um, you can have it in the same configuration to the other machines we've seen, which are the, the single spindle, your tool spindle, steadies, or you can have what we call the G version. The G version then gives you a a second spindle. It's not a sub spindle like some of the machines on the market. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a second spindle with the same power, same capability as the main spindle, and then a bottom turret as well. So the second spindle, in terms of the spindle bore, is that equal as well to the yes, main spindle? Yes, the, the power, the bore, the turning capability is exactly the same as the main spindle. So the 35 then, what's the swing on this machine? Uh, maximum turning diameter of 520 mil. Okay, let's drill into the detail on the, call it the interesting bit, the axes. You've got a B-axis head and a tool changer at the back of the machine? Correct, yeah. Yeah, so again, much the same as the bigger machines, you've got the B-axis on the head, the milling head. Uh, on this particular one, it would be uh, on the Capto C6 or HSK63 milling spindle. Um, and then you can have it with 10 or 12 inch chucks. I said it's at the back, but it's not actually, is it? It's down the end of the machine, the tool changer. Yeah, the tool changer is behind headstock, very much as you've seen on the bigger machines. The only difference really is the way it changes tools. So on this one, it changes tools above the headstock. The pre on the bigger models, you've seen it tool change at the, at the rear of the machine. But the tool changer itself, in essence, is the, is the same configuration. So why did WFL put the tool changers down the end of the machine as opposed to at the back of the machine? Well, the main reason is because obviously on the on the bigger machines we're looking to, to, to tool change some, some fairly large tools and also from an accessibility point of view. So the, the idea of the machine is that everything you access from the front, so the tool changer you access from the front of the machine, you have to go around the back, load tools in and out. Got it, got it, yeah, because I suppose on other machines you might have to go around the back of the machine in order to load tools. Exactly. Okay, so this positions uh, Kyle machine tools in the UK in a, in a very competitive area of the market because there are quite a few manufacturers of this type of machine. Well exactly um, and we're going from, or WFL are offering machines that will go from as I say 10 inch chucks all the way up to, to a metre and a half swing. And this part on here actually is a good example of the machining processes that you can do. There's lots of milled flats, drilled holes, boring, so in terms of processes, it gives you a lot of capability? It does. Uh, it gives you the full capability of the mill turn machine. But on here, what, what they're looking to, to do is, is offer a more production oriented solution. So you've got your second spindle and you've got your bottom turret. As you can see, the part on there now is quite a complex part, but it enables that to be machine complete in two operations. And you've got driven tools on that bottom turret, I assume? Yeah, the bottom turret has got a C axis of driven tools and everything can work in conjunction with each other so the milling head can be machining at the same time as the bottom turret and so you can balance the turn. Exactly and, and what, what you do is from a programming point of view you program the two turrets completely independently but then you merge them together so you can optimise the cycle time between the two spindles and the two turrets. So I think what I'm, what I'm taking from this conversation Martin then is that actually WFL there are thousands of companies in the UK that could adopt this type of technology at this capacity. And what we're suggesting or saying is that actually Carl Machine Tools is in that arena too. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we're, we're trying to offer a machine um, for solutions for, for one hit machining. Where do we fail excel? Generally, it's in the, the more difficult to machine materials and components, oil and gas, aerospace. So that's a typical market for for this machine. So it could fit into an equipment manufacturer's, a subcontractor's or any type of business that is doing difficult, complex, hard materials? Yeah, I mean, we, have, we have numerous installations in those types of companies, so absolutely. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.